You're watching Action News Now. Storm Tracker weather coverage you can count on. Well, if you have family heading to or from the Bay Area tonight, this is what the Bay Bridge looks like right now. You can see the cars heading into the tunnel there on Yerba Buena Island. I believe that, well, that's the top deck there, so that's heading into the city. Uh, so, yeah, that's like a lot of cars. Be grateful if you're not there that you're not there. Uh, Jason joins us now again. Yeah, that's fine. They can do that. Yeah. We <laughs> will have far fewer cars than that. Even when it starts to get busy, there will be more cars on our roads too, but thankfully not that kind of traffic, and we won't have a lot of weather problems as we head into the Thanksgiving weekend. We have a just a setting sun right now and some lingering clouds outside, taking a live look from our Deer Creek Highway camera. You can see most of those clouds are already beginning to disappear, and this morning they didn't appear fast enough to keep us very warm. We had overnight lows in the 30s in the valley, but higher elevations, teens, 20s, even more single digits for Alturas this morning. Highs were certainly suppressed. They were slightly below average today and a lot cooler than yesterday. Had a high of 60 degrees in Redding, 59 degrees in Chico, and 52 degrees in Paradise. But those clouds are quickly leaving Northern California, and we're going to have a clearing of our sky late tonight through early tomorrow morning. But once we lose those clouds, we're still going to have the gusty wind in the wake of that small little disturbance that was moving over us. The potential for some areas of fog over snow-covered ground will be there, but for the canyons, the Jarbo Gap area, also the valley, will have the gusty wind developing, and that's going to last through most of Wednesday into at least the first half of Thursday. But you'll notice, here's Thanksgiving Day. We have almost no cloud cover anywhere, so it's looking fantastic for us. We'll just have the stronger breezes to deal with. A weaker disturbance moving our way by Friday and Saturday will increase our clouds. It'll give us a slight chance for some rain showers and some high elevation snow late in the holiday weekend, but a larger storm wants to have a bigger influence on our weather. Here's Sunday as you're closing up and heading back home for your Thanksgiving weekend. We'll have increasing clouds, more breezes. There is a chance for some rain and snow, but most of the rain and snow that's going to fall from this storm is going to fall Monday and Tuesday with a resurgence coming in by the middle of next week. So I want to show you one of our long-term forecast models. It's backed off a little bit on the amounts of precipitation. So as we go all the way through the weekend, here's late night, Sunday night, most of the valley, not a single raindrop for us, but we do have a chance for showers coming up in the second half hour. I'm going to show you one of the other models and compare them for you as well as our chances for snow. But there is a better chance by Monday and Tuesday for additional rain and mountain snow. It looks like most of what's going to fall will be after the weekend has already completed. So hopefully you can just get to your destination safely. As far as the wind, though, you're going to notice that tomorrow. It's not going to be as windy as it was last week, but tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon as you're heading home or perhaps heading on the road to get to your destination, expect some gusty wind coming from the north, and we'll still have some more windy weather for the first half of Thanksgiving Day as well. So here's your forecast for tomorrow. Mostly sunny and mild in the day before Thanksgiving. Highs in the northwest will be in the 50s and lower 60s. Another cold night for the northeast. We'll have a mild afternoon with less wind around Modoc County than anywhere else. Daytime highs will be mainly in the 50s. For the ridge, quiet tonight, but by tomorrow morning, the breezes will start blowing and we'll have stronger breezes tomorrow afternoon. Highs warmer too. Upper 50s and lower 60s. For the valley, will also be slightly warmer tomorrow morning, but still chilly. The breeze is keeping us a little bit warmer than we otherwise would be. Overnight lows, upper 30s and lower 40s, with highs also above average, mid to upper 60s. And for Glen and Butte counties, we'll also be between 35 and 40 degrees tomorrow morning. Breezy morning, breezy afternoon, and slightly milder too, with highs in the mid to upper 60s. Next seven days in Chico, looking great, but a little bit gusty on Thanksgiving Day, mostly sunny and 68 degrees. Best chance for rain will be after Sunday, but there is a chance for some showers of rain and mountain snow Sunday night, so keep that in mind. If you're going to be traveling around for Reading, sunny and 70 degrees on Thanksgiving Day. Good chance for wet weather starting on Monday and Tuesday, but it's also possible on Sunday.